I'm Dara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. And today, for the very first time ever, we are going to try to make cheese. Which sounds terrifying. Yes, we are making cheese. We got this cheese making kit off of our Amazon wish list. It was sent to us by Joe to Fallout Noob. Thank you very much, Mr. Noob. So in this box is a lot of amazing stuff and you're actually able to make all kinds of different cheese using this kit. But we're gonna get started with something simple and containable. We're gonna make a ricotta today. This is a Standing Stone Farm guide to cheese making and it has all these different cheese recipes in it. Did you, did you know that there's also um, butter? Recipes in here? There are. Yeah, for making, which, which, we are butter experts. Oh, I make butter all the time. Here. <laughs> Got this big stainless steel quart. There's a um, journey through cheese making, home cheese making. Yeah. Crazy strainer -y thing, and this thing, I think this is like to Scoopy. stew off the toppy top. Oh, I don't know what this is about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. They even sent measuring. Yeah, it gets even more in the Supreme Cheese Kit. We have gloves, spice Italian roasted garlic, mm. spice calf, paste. The past lipids. Okay. Uh, some citric acid. Thank There's goodness, because so there is a there's food grade citric acid, oh. there's regular citric acid, and then she calls for cheese grade. And I don't know if that's different than food grade, so I'm really happy that, that there's um, no. no. This is cheese salt. I don't know what that means. Mesophilic culture. Yeah, good. That's it. Thermometer, cheese cloth in a cheese making kit. Who knew? Microbial rennet, double strength, calcium chloride. So if you ever wanted to try cheese making and watch videos and like you need this, that, and this, just get this kit to get you started so that you get the right things while you learn about it, I'm already like super impressed with this. Guide to cheese making with es expert, I said expert, with expert recipes and tips from chef, farmer, and owner, Paula Butler. Thank you, Paula. Italian style ricotta, which is one of the reasons we're doing this one because it's the first cheese in here and it seems like the easiest one. And for beginners, I think that's probably what we should do. Yeah. So ingredients, we need one gallon of whole milk or goat's milk. Mm -hmm. We need two cups of heavy whipping cream. Um, ultra pasteurized is fine in this one. One teaspoon of citric acid, good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and two mm -hmm. tablespoons of kosher salt. Nope, two teaspoons of kosher salt. This is what always happens to us. Do you see how we did the teaspoon tablespoon problem? So, are we ready to start? Yeah, let's do this okay. thing. Pot, clean. <gasps> okay, step one, check. Okay, so when choosing milk, the only thing I could find, these can be made from any type of dairy milk, goat, cow, etc., as long as it's not ultra pasteurized. Now, all I could find is pasteurized, but not ultra pasteurized. Okay. So I'm hoping that that works, or step one could already be a failure. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. One. Is it heavy? Two. One TSP of citric acid. One TSP. Okay. Okay, and then two. TSP of kosher salt. One. One. TSP? TSP. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're making the easiest cheese, the hardest thing we've ever done in our lives. Okay, combine milk, cream, citric acid, and one teaspoon. <laughs> Only one of them are supposed to go in there right now. It's fine. You can't undo it. It's just gonna be salty ricotta. It's fine. Okay. We just won't put it in later. When does it have us put in later? Remove the curds with a fine mist strainer and mix in the remaining one teaspoon yeah, of salt. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? Uh, we're gonna <laughs> stir with a gentle up and down motion to combine. <laughs> There's so many reasons why this isn't gonna work out. With this, when I stir with this? With an up and down motion? <laughs> this is the, the yeah. one that you were showing me. When the princess like, stir. The little princess stir? The princess stir. stir. Yeah, like that. There you go. I don't find that that's a down motion, that's just the up motion. I'm losing the down. Maybe if I go like this. There you go. Hey, I like that. Lock it? Yeah, uh-huh. How do I know it. when I'm done? I think it's combined. I mean, oh, we... nope, not combined. <laughs> we already screwed this up. This is, <laughs> how are we failing at this already? Because I was <laughs> around. <laughs> Now what? Uh, heat milk on low medium heat until milk is approximately 145 degrees or until the milk film has been replaced on the surface of the milk by development of curds. Okay. Okay. To so, the stove. To the stove. Wait for it. So we're going to heat milk on low medium heat. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> we want this to get to approximately 140 degrees. It doesn't say to stir or anything. No. Just, just go. Where are we at? 
45. <laughs> There's a tiny bit of a film on the top. Ooh, show me, show me. Kinda. I'm gonna go in there with Let's a thermometer happens, and see, see that film. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. 60, 70 degrees. Once you see curd development, use a rubber spatula, scrape the bottom of the pot to prevent the scalding. Scalding. I'm gonna do it. Do it. I'm going in. Get in there. Prevent that scalding. It's forming underneath and it's trying to punch through. It's punching through one there. So I'm getting kind of scared being this close to it. You should be. I wonder if that's all we're supposed to be looking for. This is what it says. Continue heating until the curds are now floating on top of your pot. They will begin to look like a large cloud of curds and will develop a volcanic like eruption with whey. The moment you see the wave eruption and a thick cloud of curds on top. So it's supposed to still be a thick cloud of curds on top. But, I think that might be it. But I don't think whey has actually come through yet. He doesn't say that you see the way. He did. Didn't no, it says it just says in a volcanic eruption with way. It could be I mean the way I'm escaping from the side. Uh-huh. I mean that's what I'm saying. It could be just that. Okay, okay. Like, we're getting little bubbles through. Yeah, like yeah, I don't think as exciting as when we read it. Like we think it's gonna have a geyser. Okay, remove from heat, cover, and let the weight and whatever else is in there, curds, the curds salt, away, lots and of salt. salt. <laughs> let them sit for 20 minutes. Okay. And we wait. See you in 20. Hi. Okay. It's been 20 minutes, and we spent that time very wisely. I'm gonna let Natalie take over this portion of the video. So we've been working off of this um, recipe book, Paula's recipe book. Uh, there is a video, a DVD that comes with it. So we watched because the next part, it didn't make as much sense to me. I wanted to know what exactly am I supposed to be doing? And I'm glad I did for that part, but everything was different. There was a different amount of cream. There was a different temperature that you were waiting yeah. for. There was a different process. I mean, scraping every, was different. Everything, every was step different. was different. So I don't know what's going to happen here. The only thing that she didn't do differently was the amount of salt, <laughs> which is the only thing we messed up. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look know. quite the same. I think ours is going to end up being like more like drugstore Dakota. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to try to scoopy this out. Oh my God. Go. <gasps> Whoa. And then I need to let that sit and drain. If you disturb it too much, it's gonna just turn into micro fibers. Yeah, we found out you cannot pour it. You have to always scoop and strain. Otherwise, the heat of the whey melts the ricotta so much because it's so delicate and it just will go straight through your sieve. <gasps> we have so much. I know, there's a ton in there. We're gonna be eating ricotta for days. I was worried that it wasn't even gonna, it wasn't gonna chiz. <laughs> I have a second one of these strainers because that might be helpful right now. I have a right huge now. one. I wish I'd brought it. <laughs> We're ready. Weapon. This way I can get rid of there this that go. way. There you go. That's the way you do it. Can I just go back and forth? Yeah. Am I going to disturb it too much? I don't think so. Okay. That looks so okay. good. You're going in there. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably a fine amount. Oh, look at that. Yes. Let's go for the next set. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm always impressed with us because I think we're amazing, but I'm really <laughs> impressed. No. No. I, I never. Yeah, I, I switched and, to one I thought ah! you would. Well, let's try that again. Well, that's going to make the edit. There's tons of this. There's so much. <laughs> there's just no way not to make a huge mess doing it this way. So there's debate at this point. Oh, yeah. Ricotta, ricotta. Ricotta, ricotta. That's nowhere near right. Ricotta. Ricotta. You say ricotta, I, I say ricotta. So I think I think we need an Italian to tell us how to say yeah, it. Yeah, if you're from Italy. Or no Italian. Italian. Or our Because I think it would be co in go. Italian. Go. I think it would be a little Italian that we're learning. Ricotta. I don't think O's turn into A's. Do yeah. You? Look at that. That looks good. I'm stuck. You're killing it. I'm stuck. Oh, there's burnt stuff on the bottom. Uh -oh. Boo. <laughs> oh, see there's burnt. See? Oh, yeah. Kick uh -huh. some up. Yeah, you kicked some up with the burnt burnts. Yeah, there was a whole part with the scalding and stuff that like 
The video did a much better job helping with not scalding the bottom of your pot than the book did. Watch the video. Just If you get this kit, watch the video. You're supposed to be able to just eat it hot. I've never, I, just, I mean, I guess it's, that's not that weird, but mm -hmm. kind of scares me. I don't know why. Let's see. I can kind of taste that it's been burned a little bit. But I mean, that, kind it of might smell be my it imagination. too. Yeah. yeah, it might be my imagination, but it's not bad. Like you put that in something else, mm -hmm. gold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're going to put this in the fridge. Yes. Tomorrow we will try it um, as a spread or whatever, instead of just yeah. like a spoonful of hot cheese. Yeah, let's make it into a thing. Let's get it to the Give temperature good, we good, good color try. adjusted to. Yeah. And, then, and then we'll tell you how it turned out. See you in a few. Okay, it is, uh, we've let this sit overnight in the fridge just to get it cold. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and just try it just plain. to get a little yeah, plain yeah. at cooled state and see what we think of it. We did add a little bit more salt. You can still taste that little bit of burnt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was thinking about it yesterday, and I think once in a lasagna, or oh, if yeah. you put it into like something mm -hmm. with a smoky flavor, you wouldn't yeah. taste it at all anyway. It's no, not no. like it's... Yeah, tell yourself smoky flavor. Yeah. It's smoked cheese, and then you're like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, well, I mean, once you mix yeah. it in with something, you wouldn't yeah. even notice it anyway. So we need to try this. I think giving it a real try of like putting it in something, or okay. the idea was, the idea was we were just gonna put it on a little, little piece of bread mm -hmm. with, a, I was thinking with a little sun-dried tomato, Ooh, like yeah. spread that on there. Do okay, wanna, yeah, let's do that. Do you wanna do that? Okay. Let's, make a little, let's make a little thing out of it. Do you wanna do that, or do you wanna try the surprise I made us? I want to try the surprise you made us. <laughs> oh, please. Does it have pickles in it? Because then I'm out. No pickles in it. What is the cuteness that I'm looking at? <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, this is from this is from the the book. Homemade ricotta served with organic honey, ripened peaches, and then um, with a little. You could do thyme or mint, and I decided to do mint. Love, yeah. Mint. So we do have to let this get up to um, room temperature okay. a little bit. And then mm, it goes with a dry white that's wine. That's so cute. Thanks for making us something mm -hmm. special. So I'm gonna get us a glass of dry white wine to try it with. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just some sun-dried tomatoes. Mm, okay. okay. Which one do you want to try first? Uh, let's do the sun-dried, the one this that you're one more This one with into. the big old yeah. sun-dried? Yeah. That's my jam. The texture is so good. Mm. And with, once you put something else on it, don't even notice the slight smokiness. Mm -mm. Okay, now for my, my fancy thing. <laughs> Just a scoop of the ricotta. Okay. There's honey drizzled on it, then peaches, then the mint has been in there to try to like infuse some of it. Got it. There's a little, I did do a little more honey after I put the peaches in there. Ooh, I don't okay. know. No idea what I'm doing. Just, you know, we'll see. That's pretty good. I mean, it is like dressing up cottage cheese mm -hmm. at that point. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a little more honey. It doesn't hide the um, smokiness as much, but no. uh, it's a smoked cheese with uh -huh. uh, peaches. People love smoked things with sweet things. Now that's delicious. I'm not mad at it. Uh uh. Mm mm That was my ricotta song. Oh, good job. Good job. The lyrics were amazing. Okay, that was a winner. That was a winner. I really like this kit. I think it's a really good way to get started. And mm -hmm. like, even though we struggled with the difference between the DVD and the book and all that stuff, sorry, Paula, if we were being a little terse. It's still worth trying out because it does it does make it less daunting. Link mm -hmm. below if you want to try this kit. It's really awesome. I recommend. I do recommend it. And now yeah. that and since you know to watch both the DVD for sure and read the booklet, you can make those little adjustments mm -hmm. accordingly. Yes. Uh, and thank you to Joe the Fallout Noob mm -hmm. for sending us this kit off of our Amazon wish list. Uh, it gave us every single little piece we needed to try, and that Amazing. was fantastic. Amazing. And now I'm not scared about making cheese. No. This is so cool. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you never miss an episode. And hey, check us out on Instagram because we're there posting our secrets behind the scenes and stuff. So like, come chill with us over there. Come chill. <laughs> Bye.